Norwegian Cruise Lines, well, they have returned to Australia. The Port of Galveston here in Texas, well, looks like we are going to get another cruise line. And the Carnival Corporation, well, they're going to be selling three more cruise ships. Let's get into some cruise news. Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. All right, before we jump into the cruise news, we got some bad weather this weekend. Some pretty big winter storms moving across the United States. So if you are doing any traveling this weekend, definitely have a little bit of patience. Airlines have already canceled thousands of flights. Roads are going to be messed up. So if you're traveling, going to visit family, headed to a cruise, definitely try to get some extra time and definitely have a lot of patience. Everybody, please be very safe throughout these storms and over the Christmas weekend. After three years, Norwegian Cruise Lines, they have officially returned to sailing in Australia. The Norwegian Spirit is going to be doing sailings down under from December all the way through March of 2023. And then of course, we'll be back in December of 2023 for a second winter season. This is good news for the folks in Australia, especially as they continue to go through their cruise restart. Another cruise line, more cruising options, simply more to choose from for their cruising vacation. MSC Cruise Lines, they are officially in talks with the Port of Galveston to build a fourth cruise terminal and to bring MSC Cruises to the state of Texas. The prospect of developing a new home port in Galveston is exciting because it represents a big step in our ongoing North American expansion. Bringing our modern, glamorous ships to Texas would provide even more access and opportunities for guests and travel advisors to experience the future of cruising with MSC Cruises and our unique European style. We look forward to productive discussions with Galveston Wharves as we chart MSC's future in the U.S. market. Right now, they are just in discussions. No contracts have been done. They simply have a non-binding agreement to at least discuss the possibility of bringing MSC to Texas. I'm sure they're going to be able to work it out, which means we'll get a fourth cruise terminal, another cruise line, which is going to be more opportunity for cruisers out of Galveston, different ships, different cruise lines. Like I said, we already have Carnival. We already have Royal Caribbean. We got Princess Cruise Lines currently sailing out of Galveston. Norwegian Cruise Lines is going to be sailing out of Galveston and Disney Cruise Lines. So now we have the possibility of also getting MSC Cruise Lines. Again, it's more opportunity for cruisers here in Texas, more options, more choices, and it will also be a great economic boom to the city of Galveston through restaurants, hotels, local attractions. So it's a really good deal for everybody if they can work it out. And I'm really interested in trying an MSC cruise. They're supposed to be a little bit different than what we're used to with US-based cruise lines, you know, with Carnival, Royal, Norwegian, they are the more European style and something I'm really looking forward to trying out. And finally, the Carnival Corporation, well, they have announced that they are going to be selling three more of their cruise ships. Now they said they're gonna be smaller, less efficient cruise ships. And so far we know two of those cruise ships are gonna be coming from Costa Cruise Lines. So the Costa Magica and the Costa Fortuna both are going to be sold. And then a third cruise ship is also going to be sold, but they haven't specified which of the Carnival Corporation brands that ship is going to come from. The Carnival Corporation has been having issues with their debt, with their operating costs. We've seen cuts across the Carnival Corporation. We've seen price increases across the Carnival Corporation. So selling off a couple of smaller, less efficient cruise ships that aren't really being used is another way for them to help out their bottom line. We've already seen Carnival get rid of a lot of cruise ships here during the pandemic as we came out of the pandemic. A lot of their fantasy class vessels from Carnival itself already have gone. And now there's going to be three more cruise ships either sold or heading to the scrapyard here in the near future. All right, and that is going to be your cruise news for today. Hope everyone enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit subscribe. It is free to do so. Helps our channel grow. Let you know anytime we put out a new video. Hope everyone is having a really great day and please have a really safe weekend. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.